Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video, and we've got a lot to discuss. I wasn't able to get to it, you know, in my usual time, so this is extremely late, so I really apologize, like I said, in my community tab. Uh, so yeah, I always announce everything, a lot of things in my community tab, or on my Discord or something, so go ahead, look at the community tab if you want to go ahead and look at that, uh, on YouTube. And if you want to join my Discord, Discord link is down below, I always announce when I'm going live, and stuff like that, and feedback and things, so anyways, let's go ahead and get into that. So, expect this to probably be a little bit higher because uh, they're doing a lot of things. There's a lot of things coming to the game and I'm really surprised by it. Um, they're trying to, you know, put in as much content into the game right now because they probably won't be able to do very much soon. Considering that Alum is having some situations where they're, you know, having some maybe some setbacks in the, in the near future. So, I don't, I mean, I, I expect... Uh, Gumi to have similar situations. So anyways, let's move on. Yes. A very un, un, like underappreciated banner is coming. I really... I mean, I'm one of the people who underappreciates it, I guess. But it's just like... We have so many hard-hitting hard banners that are they really, really worth it. Sakura is much weaker than Roy with, her bo with, with his buffs. She got literally no buffs. But Nicole did get buffs, but I don't think that he really. I mean, yes, he needed buffs because he's gonna be, he's gonna be, he's already not that good in comparison to what supports we already have. Sylvain enhancements are coming. On top of that, uh, he just hasn't he doesn't really have anything special going for him yet. Think of think of it like this. This is what I always say, guys. Think of it always like this. He's basically his CG version, just more compressed, compact. So all of his moves are kind of like tied together instead of being separate entities. So there's that. I thought the music would stop playing or something. That's why I'll stop. Anyways, yeah, he's really nothing special, honestly. He just he really his TMR is good though. I use his TMR, but the unit himself is just really. That's just. I'm sorry. I'm giving a, a biased view, I guess, but I, I've I've. You know, I've seen him a lot, you know, I've looked at his kit, I go back and look at his kit on the JP sites every, every so often and I'm just like, eh, I have better, I have better stuff. And Sakura, basically for me, like, I want her STMR. For me, I was like, I want her STMR, that's all I want. So, I mean, not, not now, no, we're not pulling on this banner, no way. I am, I am not gonna pull on this banner, I am not discouraging you from pulling on this banner, though. Don't ever, don't ever get that confused, guys. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean you don't. Get to be, you know what I'm trying to say. If you want, if you've been waiting for these units, I, I'm not gonna say that, that there's no one that might be waiting for these units. But come on, there's been a lot of hard hitting banners recently. I doubt a lot of people have lapis right now, especially with FMA and you know FF9 around and stuff like that. I'm just saying, uh, let's just try to approach this very skeptically. Uh, Especially when, when uh, the DPS on the banner is not getting buffed, and Roy's better right now. Uh, I think that you just need to like relax a little bit, and maybe wait for the next week to come around and see what goes on with those situations. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into the exchange shop. For, so I've been trying to do this recently. I'm trying to include everybody. There might be some new players. For some reason, if you found my channel first, uh, thank you for stopping by. Anyways, I'm going to try to try to do this. Uh, every so often now I'm gonna try to describe this for new players that might just be coming into the game Because there's there's some other games that I've been playing that I'm a new at and I People have explained to me some things so I think it's only fair that I explained my expertise of what this stuff is. So anyways So basically if you spend 25k lapis, which is all those steps require you to have about that much not about that much You need that much, but basically what this ticket allows you to do is you can exchange for one of these units, just one, one, one or more. You just, it's not unlike the JP side where they do this thing where um, <laughs> they give you the same ticket, but it's it's tied. You can't choose. Unlike, but on the global side, you can choose which one you want to pick. Let's so say you get one one of them on banner while you're going to the step up. Now that's an easy seven star. You just pick right, pick one of them. Bam, seven star achieved. Or you know you could you you could do other things. You could go. You will see one of them and then like sit on the other one and then wait for maybe getting another one in the future and you get an STMR. 
That's also an option. But don't if you're a new player, don't even worry about STMRs. You don't even need to think about STMRs. Don't even worry about trust master removals. Just worry about playing the game and having a little bit of fun. You know, a lot of people that I talk to that are new to the game, they want to rush right into trials and stuff. Like, just relax. Relax a little bit. Build up your team a little bit. It's, it's, this, I've been, play, I've been playing some other games similar to this, and the grind here is not as insane as, say, Grand Blue Fantasy, where I've barely gotten anywhere just yet, and I've already got, I've got a team assembled, but I don't, not we're doing any damage, so it's gonna be an insane grind for that game compared to this game. This game has, like, people complain about the grind in this game, but it, honestly, it's really not that bad compared to other games I've been playing. The grind is very, very, uh, minor. I, I'm gonna be honest. So there's that. Um, so there, yeah. And if you did do pulls, let's go ahead and show you. If you did do pulls on this one, only on this one, this one, limited date, uh, per player, you can get coins. Now I'm gonna say this every time, even for people maybe kids coming right back into the game, you don't really know much about this. You only wanna get, um, what? Oh, right, yeah, you can, yeah, I thought only the prisms were available. Yeah, you can get the unit as well, but it's, it's going to cost a lot of coins. But you only really want to focus on the things that I've highlighted here, guys. Don't worry about anything below what I've highlighted. Only those four items is what you should be focusing on if you do pull on this banner. And any following banner. Just focus on the prism and the units if, you, if you're planning on going that deep. Because you don't want to get any of this other stuff. Do not worry about this stuff. Everything now that I'm highlighting, you can get for free. Um, trust Moogles and guarantee tickets and things. You get those for free while playing the game. So I would not recommend doing that. Um, and if you were happening to do the coins as well, you would get these tickets where you need to have four in order to do it. So basically you need to do one and then do another step in order to have four. It even says here four, so there's no mis miscommunication like, oh, it gives me three, so why can't I just use three? No, it, it says four here. So there's that. And it's only, it's not, I mean, it's a guaranteed rainbow, but it's not really guaranteed 100% to get the unit. Anyways, onto a strange circumstance. I guess this might be the surprise collaboration that they are talking about, huh? Really awesome. Salt Mesh is back, guys. Salt Mesh is back. And I'm not looking forward to it, and I'm probably just going to pass, because I don't want to put myself through that again. You guys know what I'm talking about? I have a pull... Actually, I have... I Actually, I made... If In case you guys don't look at my playlist, I did make a playlist for, like, the worst pulls on my channel. And that banner is in one of the... one of the... On the in the playlist. So... I am not going to go through it. Even if the banner is better on the, on the global side, I'm not going through this. Heck no. It's really not, I mean, there's no guaranteed ticket for this guy, so, no. As much as I would love to use this team, I use this S-teamer all the time on the JB side. I am probably just going to stay away. He used to be a strong unit for a little while, sure. But I think I'm just going to stay away. Because I just, I don't know. I can't pull right now that much because of my situation that I'm in. Financially and everything, so I'm probably just going to stay away. And the same thing, I'm not going to go into it too much because I already explained it, but this is the same situation. Only worry about those two highlighted items. Don't worry about any of the rest. Um, and then intro quest. So there's some lapis in here. Use some of lapis and get the sword, of course. This was it on the JP side as well. So it's, it's basically required because you need to have a sword. And it'll be going into why you would want to have a sword very soon. The ticket situation again, you need to have four. This is something that's interesting. I didn't expect something like this. Um, so you basically get a rainbow and... You won't be able to get Gilgamesh or anything like that. Yeah, it's just it's just a random rainbow. Basically a 5 star EX ticket with some other trash included. Um, so there you go. So they one rainbow for free. Very nice, I guess. And this was the point where JP was starting to make a... Starting to turn, you know, item world or, you know, everyone, whatever word you want to call it, into like collaborations and things because you gotta turn everything into something, I guess. So, it's, a, it's just item world, but 
it's a little different than usual. There'll be different enemies, and also you get this. I don't know why I was doing that. You can you can enhance his Gilgamesh's sword for some more bonuses. So on top, I'm gonna make this very clear. I'm gonna make this very clear so you guys will not be confused about this. So a unique ability is different from a rare ability, and now this is very new. I want to make this very clear, like I said. So you can get the unique ability and the rare ability in the same run. I've done it before. In fact, I might even show you uh, Mad Gilgamesh's sword, but probably not. Uh, just trust me. I've done it. I've done it before. I've done it many times. So you can get the 40% attack and magic on top of the sword rare, which is 20% attack and 20% HP. You can get both of them, guys. I mean... It's it's not it might not, it may take you a while but you might you'll you'll eventually get it. So I've I've gotten it so yeah. Other than other than that, it's just item world. You go through ten laps, ten stages, whatever you want to call it, or maybe it's even five. I think it might be five. I'm not I'm not sure if it's five or ten for this particular situation because I believe I remember that there was one item uh, item world on the JP side that was only five waves. I'm not sure if this is the one. Just keep that in mind. Uh, if it is five waves, you want to be more critical about which things you pick. And a very good item from this exploration, which I highly recommend doing, is the battle boots. Very nice, um, very nice, and I use this all the time actually because it's 30% HP and an accessory. So, and the MP reduction. So, definitely get the, go in there and did that. Unfortunately, it's only one ticket, but at least it's one, not a zero. And, oh boy, this is something that I was dreading because I don't know how we're going to be able to do this, guys. We don't have, I, I, I promised you guys that when this would come, we would have Esther enhancements or, you know, 11 buffs or something by then. But this came a little sooner than I thought it would be. I thought maybe it would be next week and then maybe we'd have Easter stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. So maybe you guys in the comment section will be able to figure something out, but I don't think Esther or Eleven in their current state will be able to beat this trial. I'm sure someone will still figure out a way to do it, but it's going to be really tough. And if you need to have a Malboro guide, I've already made one on my channel if you want to go back and look a few days prior. I already have a what do you need for this trial. Uh, or Sworn of the Venomous Finds of Death. So if you want to go ahead and look at that, you can. It's already on my channel. The reward is extremely good though. So, yeah. I use this katana a lot. Very good. Killer weapons are very good, guys. If you didn't know. So, there, so there, here's some rewards if you log in. It's nothing that special. There are some lapis here and there. EX tickets though, fuck off. With the EX tickets, dude. I didn't mean to swear, but I'm, I'm pissed off with the EX ticket thing. The accessory is pretty good though. If this is automatic. If this is just an activated, it's not really that good. If this is automatic, that's kind of OP. A little a little bit OP. And kind of, kind of OP. A little bit. And half energy. So if you haven't done a story in a while, uh, now is the time to do it. So that's going to wrap up all the news. That was a long, sorry, how long it took. To get it done but what do you guys think are you gonna go for a gilgamesh are you gonna go for you know the other units but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tell you not to do it of course i'm just gonna caution you uh you just basically regina or roy as uh, in terms of in terms of kit but she's just thunder based instead of fire or nine elemental so just throwing that out there you really is nothing that special and she's gonna be a lot weaker than Roy is so I think I'm gonna let you guys go and I need to rest my voice I'm gonna be streaming in a little bit here so thanks for watching guys I know this was a very long one but there's a lot of stuff to cover watch all the way through type in hashtag salt mesh yeah hashtag salt mesh will be the keyword for the end of the video thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one peace